Hey, good afternoon again, boys and girls. You know, yesterday we spoke about that heavy assault rifle and 50 cal. I've got a cleanup here and I'm going to put on the market for sale. But you know, <clears throat> if you guys are part of that ready response team, you know, and you've got everything in the old pickup truck, you know, or your uh, Toyota or the Prius, you know, and you're going to run and bug out, and then you need a light, reliable rifle. What I've got right here in my hand today is a 50 cal, another GR Douglas barrel, 42 inches long. We've got the muzzle protector that comes with it, you know, up there on the top end. This is a back action lock. It has an old J Manton lock on it. It's been reworked. It's got double set triggers. It has no sights, but it was set up originally, as you can see right up here, for a rear sight, and then we've got the dovetail up front. I can show you that here in a minute. Now, right there you go. That's your false muzzle. So that's what you load through. So then you take her off before you shoot. That's what the big knob's for. But you can see he had uh, put a uh, sight base here, but up here it's dovetailed, as you can see. So you could put your regular standard sight in there. Now, this barrel has a special feature that you can only find on most modern guns. I know this is another one. This rifle is probably from the same era as the other one was. In late 60s, early 70s, I don't know for sure. I'm just taking a guess here. But this has a fluted barrel. It's a 1 and 1 8 inch diameter, and it's a fluted barrel. Now, you can only find a fluted barrel on, you know, maybe a Les Bauer rifle or something. You know, I'm talking four or $5,000 rifle. So this has a, a, a very feature that most guys like nowadays to lighten the barrel. Again, she's a little under 11 pounds. I was told it was 13, but, you know, I picked it up off one of them garage sale guys where they think they're getting a deal. They run out the door, and they leave the sights and all the tooling and molds to go with it. I'm pretty much going to guess that this is another, not a very fast twist, a slow twist, but you know what? I haven't really checked it out, so you can't hold me to that. Now, what makes this rifle nice? I don't know what the stock is. It looks like it might be some kind of maple. If she's fairly dark, it's been used. But, all you lefties, I know how upset you get because you can never find a left-handed gun. There you go. Huh? Got the cheek piece for you. All right, double set trigger, okay, and she's a tough one to set to, buddy. She's tight. There you go. Look at that, huh? Sets right up. It's very nice. Again, brass butt plate. It's nothing fancy. All right, not at all. Brass trigger guard, double set trigger. There's the lock. She was a little dirty. This guy must have been shooting this gun because I found uh, on the inside of the lock, you know how when you shoot, you get that little bit of crud in there. It has a little newer nipple on it, and you've got a, a clean-out screw here for the drum on the side. Uh, I would actually trim the nipple down some because a screw on the drum on the side runs into it. But on a good note, I put the screwdriver on this, a little twist, she came right out. She was all filled with grease, so the guy did have it filled with grease. The bore is in fair shape. You know, I'm not going to go running down the street bragging about it, but she is a shooter. I'm going to say she's a shooter, um, but that's up to you to prove. I might shoot this one just as well, just to kind of, you know, get the fuzz out of it. I don't know. Um, again, fluted barrel, something you only find on some of the more expensive firearms this day. 50 cal, about 42 inches long. Uh, she's probably, oh, I don't know, two and a half inches across here. She's got a nice flat forearm so you can lay her down on the bench. This rifle isn't too bad. I have guns that run a little over nine pounds. You can hold this one and shoot this one offhand. I think this one would be a good one for the guy that would shoot offhand. The length of pull isn't too excessive, probably in maybe in the 14-inch range. Again, it's got a J Manton back, lock, back action lock that's been reworked. All right. The lock's been reworked on the inside. The triggers look pretty good. I pulled the lock off just to check it out. Uh, I got a little... It looks like a little chip of wood missing from over here on this side. Well, maybe right here. 
probably happened years ago. I've got the tangs drilled in a couple of places. Looks like he had my had some kind of peep sight or a lollipop sight there. I've got a, a base up here. Not naturally, all the bases are homemade. If this was me and I had this rifle, I'd peel this base and stuff off here, and I'd go up to a nice. I'd put my put my sight right back up here. Now this is a long run from here to here, so this tells me that the fellow that owned this was probably in his 50s, if not older. See, this is a trick us old guys do. You don't know this. I'm going to let you in on a trick now. If you're having a hard time seeing your sights, because most of the times they'll put that, that rear sight right back here, if you're not using a peep, they'll put that here. Move that thing up three or four inches. Now, I know this lessens your sighting plane, you know, from front to back. But you'll be able to see those sights a lot better. I did that on my new flintlock. I've got that sight sitting up there at about 15 inches, and I'll tell you what, she looks a lot better for them old eyes. Shoots nice, too. Again, it's a pretty good rifle. I'll probably uh, shoot a few rounds to it, clean her out. we got a band up here on the front end so you can put tension. Right there's a band. Got the screw under here to hold this barrel down. You can probably adjust the tension on that if you want to. And, uh, She's bedded down fairly solid. J Manton back action lock, GR Douglas barrel, fluted like the modern ones, you know, like the ones you pay thousands of dollars for. I'll be throwing this up online again, and uh, I'm not going to want a million dollars for it. In fact, I offered this to another guy. I told him, uh, you know, about the $700 range, I'd be happy. And I think, you know, we're going to, you know, we got to work out the shipping. I'm sure this will be a good $35, $40 to ship, but man, you get yourself a shooter right here. You know, take this to the turkey shoots. You might be able to beat that guy that's never beat you. And the two important features, again, that this rifle has is a fluted barrel and it's left handed. This is a left handed percussion gun. Hey, this is Black Powder Bill, blackpowderbill.com out. Again, this is part of my series of Rifles I Don't Own. So I'll title this one today, I Don't Own an AK or an SKS, but I do have a 50 cal light assault rifle for sale. You can contact me at blackpowderbill at yahoo.com or find me on gunbroker.com as BPBRS or auction arms as Black Powder Bill Reloading. If there's something you're looking for and you, you can't think you find it and I might have it or I might be able to find it, hey, kick me an email, it's free. Only takes a couple minutes, and I'm allowed to have what you need sitting on the shelf. I'll talk to y'all later, and uh, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Hey, and you know what? Have a great Thanksgiving coming up, okay? Eat a lot, get fat, and, uh, you know, make the statisticians, you know, just all upset. Remember now, this is a 50 cal light assault rifle with a fluted barrel. Can't beat that, not for the price. Y'all take care.